I think it's, I think the struggle of a black wrestler in the UK might be overstated. Because when I look out at shows, I, I see a lot of change. I see real change happening. When I'm doing my entrance, when I'm wrestling, I see fans from all walks of life that are supporting someone that looks like me. And when I'm, even when I'm at other shows, when I see something online, I see wrestlers that look like me being supported by fans that, that look like everyone. And I think that that's the real change. I think that's the real change that's happening and that we are pushing. That slowly but surely, black wrestlers, wrestlers of color, will become everyone's favorite wrestlers. Not because of, not because of being pressured to, not because of some silly little, little guilt thing. No, it's, it's because of our ability, because of our talent, because of what we bring to the table. Not what we're trying to be, but, but because of who we are and what we do. When I was growing up, my favorite wrestlers, I, I liked them and they had nothing to do with their race, had nothing to do with their ethnicity. It had everything to do with their personalities, their personas, what they did in the ring. And what would be really cool is if the same is true for the next generation of, of kids growing up being wrestling fans, but that this time their biggest idols, their biggest inspirations just happen to be black. And I feel that the way for that to happen is for as many wrestlers like myself to keep pushing boundaries and to not sit around and wait for opportunities, but to take them. I feel I've done that and I feel many more have done that. I think when it, when it boils down to it, if there's a goal that I had when I entered wrestling, it would be to, to be someone's favorite wrestler, regardless of the color of my skin. <laughs>